Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Chris, your Crazy Nurse RN. For today's video, we will be having a lecture. No, we're not having a lecture today. Because I am so excited to share with you that next week, I'm going to New York City. Wow. Yes, you heard me right. New York City. We're gonna have a little break from our nursing lectures and discussions. I know, guys, that you wanted more discussions from me. But you know what? It's December. It's wow. almost Christmas time. So we need to enjoy ourselves. We need to go to places that we never been and enjoy and have fun, you know? That's kind of interesting and fulfilling in my part. So I've been here in the U.S. for almost two years now. So I decided to actually explore a little bit of the United States of America. I believe New York City is a great place to visit too. And I am so excited to be honest with you because it's my first time to actually go in New York City. So I'm just so excited that guys, I just can't wait for that day so I'll be there Monday next week today is Wednesday so I decided to prepare my things because I'll be working Thursday until Sunday night so I don't have a lot of time to actually prepare I just wanted to share with you my preparations in visiting New York City so and I hope you would learn from it as well if you plan to go to New York City to visit there so you can get some insights from me i know that there are a lot of videos actually on youtube that you can uh watch as your guide but for me this is just my preparation so you can learn from it you can copy it or you can do whatever you wanted to do but i just wanted to share it with you so the first thing that i did is actually look for a flight from here in Indiana to New York City. So I started planning this one like probably a month ago. So I have a friend, he is actually a Filipino. He lives in Minnesota. He just got here last year. So, and he, be, he had been to New York City before. So we've been chatting to each other and we decided to go to New York City as a little vacation. I told him because he first wanted to go to Chicago, but I've been in Chicago before last year, probably or early this year. I told him, um, I would probably go to New York City than Chicago because I've already visited Chicago. So, but he was not able to go to Chicago yet. But of course, I just wanted to go to New York. So he agreed to that and told me to just visit Chicago probably next year yeah and i told him you know what new york city is probably the best place to go with if i'm given a chance between chicago and new york city even though i haven't been in new york city but yeah i convinced him so he agreed so the first thing that i did was to actually go to the new google site and search for the available tickets for the month of december and i found this ticket that was really cheap so I will go ahead and booked it. So it was like $160 back and forth. It is the cheapest that I could get that time. So I immediately booked it and informed him that this is the day that I wanted to go there. Because before I booked the ticket, I actually asked from my manager if I could get a break or a off from work because I only work weekends. So I wanted to stay a little bit longer in New York City. But unfortunately, my uh, paid time off wasn't granted. I understood that we're needing staff, so I just make it just, you know, probably three days, four days, that would be fine with me. So yeah, I just go ahead and booked it. Three days is enough for me to explore New York City. It's actually the feeling that you have visited New York City. It's not about the length of time or days that you've been there. It is the moment that you spent on that day so yeah I think that's fine 
So that's the first thing I did. I booked a ticket. Then the second one is to look for an accommodation. It was really hard for me to look an accommodation because it's kind of costly in New York City. It's so expensive, especially the hotels or Airbnbs in Manhattan. It's actually costly. It was like 200 to 300 per day. That's too much, you know? So what I did, I searched accommodation closer to that area, not exactly on Manhattan. So I found an Airbnb accommodation in New Jersey. So it's like probably 20 to 30 minutes train ride from that place going to the central or the metropolitan Manhattan. So I think that's fine. So I booked it. It cost like $500 for three wow. days and two nights. And, I'm, and of course, I'm gonna share that with my friend who will be coming over. So we're gonna divide the amount of money. So probably like 250 from each one. So I think it's all good just for accommodation. Anyway, we will not be staying on that accommodation because we're gonna be having more time exploring New York City than staying in a hotel or in that accommodation. So it's all good. It is actually an apartment. It's it's not a hotel. I've seen the picture in Airbnb and it was really nice. And the wow. third one is to actually plan to get a city pass. I watched a lot of videos on YouTube that it is actually important that you get a city pass if you're planning to visit places in New York City because it will save you money because it's discounted and it will save you time as well. And you can plan ahead because I think there are some attractions there that you need to reserve. So we did that already. So those are the three things that is included in my preparation going to New York City. So the first one is to book a flight. The second one is to look for an Airbnb or accommodation. And the third one is to actually purchase a city pass if you are planning to visit attractions within New York City. So yeah, I think those three things are very important for you to actually prepare. So I will be visiting New York City with a friend. Wow! He is actually a Filipino. He lives in Cebu City. Uh, in the Philippines and he's an engineer he just got here last year I believe yeah last year and he lives in Minnesota now so he had been in New York City like probably in 2019 I believe so and probably he has some idea how New York City works but of course you know it has been a long time since he got there so that means we both are not really familiar with the place so we'll just you know we'll just figure it out when we got there especially the use of subways and public transportation I know New York City is a crazy city uh, it has a lot of people a lot of establishments a lot of public transportation which now I'm actually thinking that I don't know what to do, but we'll just figure it out, you know? And it's also too expensive. Wow! But of course, you have to, you know, you have to spend money for you to actually um, go to New York City and enjoy stuff and experience stuff, you know? Um, I've been working with it for the past weeks. I've been actually... Uh, working overtime I pick up extra shift for this travel so don't bash me guys for <laughs> I'm spending my money for just traveling I have my I have separated my money for my savings I have emergency fa funds I have funds for my daily expenses like food uh, my apartment electricity and so on for my extra activities like traveling or if I wanted to buy something I usually pick up shift. I don't compromise my savings for that. So yeah, I don't actually spend money for my savings and I don't spend money a lot. I usually, you know, pick up extra shifts 
for if I have something to do like leisure, traveling, or any gadgets or things like that. So don't bash me, guys. I don't spend a whole lot of money, you know. And I believe I deserve this, you know, for working so hard, for being, you know, for being working like like three to four times per week. You know, sometimes we just need to, you know, to relax ourselves and to travel, to meet people, and to, you know, appreciate the wonders of nature, wow! to appreciate the creation of God, for that matter, the creation of mankind, you know? So, yeah, it will be a fulfilling experience, I believe so, and I'm so excited about that. So, by the way, I just got a haircut. I just wow! got a haircut from a local barbershop here, and I think she did a good job. Yeah, shout out to the lady who did my uh, hair. So, you are really fantastic. So, I got my eyebrows waxed. Wow! And I don't know if you know this one. It's kind of clean right now. It's actually my first time to have my eyebrows waxed because back home, I usually do the eyebrows, uh, eyebrow threading. It's kind of painful, but well, you just have to deal with it, you know? So yeah, there you go. So I don't know if I look better, but I think I look cleaner. <laughs> so yeah, guys. So what I'm gonna do right now is I wanna, I wanna show to you how I pack my things. And if you have any comments or if you have any suggestions, what to bring please comment down below and i'm really i really appreciate your comments and suggestions because it's my first time to visit new york and i don't know exactly what to bring i just bought some stuff like a winter clothes or something because i know new york city is crazy cold wow. so uh, might as well ask from your standpoint who especially those who have been in New York before and just let me know what are the things that I needed to bring so join me as I pack my things guys all right so guys so I booked my flight in American Airlines so I never purchased a check bag so I'll just have that carry-on baggage and a personal bag so I don't pay extra for that. So they have a policy about the measurement of a carry-on bag. So I'm gonna show it to you in here on my videos, the measurements. So I chose this bag, this luggage bag. So they told me that the dimension of this one should be 22 inches. This one should be nine. And this one should be 14, okay? So I'm gonna flush it here. So that is the allowable dimensions of your carry-on luggage. I already measured this earlier, so I think this bag is appropriate for a carry-on luggage. Yeah, I just use a ruler. So I won't measure it anymore because I've already measured it before. And also, I got here my personal bag. Wow! So I'm gonna put my personal stuff in here. I think it's kind of be safer to use this so I will just put my personal things like my wallet my cards my phone and everything that I needed to bring on a daily basis all right so let's pack my things guys okay so let me just open this up So I already put my underwear in here. It's kind of colorful, but you know, it's a boxer brief. So first thing is I got here. Yeah, I already folded it. So I have two jeans here. This is one and this is two. So because I'm gonna be staying there like Monday until, I think until Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 11, 12, 13. And on the 14th, on Thursday, um, that's the day re I'm returning here in Indiana. So, but Thursday, it will, my flight was probably the afternoon, late afternoon. So I'm gonna have some time to stroll around New York City. Wow. 
Wow! So it's probably like three days and a half, if that makes sense. So yeah. And also I have two long sleeves here. This is kind of thick long sleeves, so I believe this is enough for the cold weather in New York City. So it's kind of green and red. It's Christmas, you know? <laughs> Since Christmas is coming, so I think it's appropriate to do that. So we're gonna put that on my luggage. I don't know if you see my luggage, but I'm gonna put that in, okay? And then, I'm gonna have uh, this one, a scarf. It's green as well for Christmas motif. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna put that in my luggage because I know it's cold in there. So you better prepare for extra clothing to cover you up and protect you from severe cold. Wow! And also, I got my gloves here. Okay. I'm gonna use that one and and a head cover. Wow! So this is very important uh, for cold weather. So I'll just put that in. And also some shirt and um, pajama. Wow! I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna wear this when I'm gonna sleep. I'll just put it down there. And some sweatshirt. I'm gonna use on some sweatshirt. There you go. And also, I got some jacket in here. Wow! Just to, you know, to wear on top of my shirt. So, this is also for cold weather. And also for, I like this thing because it looks like I'm like probably a messenger or something. <laughs> but yeah, I like it. I like this one, you know. It's kind of cool to see people wearing this and I like it. So, I'm gonna bring this one. Look at that. See? Like I'm a golfer or something. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put this on my luggage. I like this one. And best of all, this one. This long coat. Wow! I like this one. It's my first time to actually wear this. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a fashion week for me. Wow! <laughs> In New York City. You know, it's kinda like uh, trendy when it's winter when you wear this. Look at this, you know? Yeah. I would definitely wear, wear this. So it's actually my first time to wear this because if you wear this in the Philippines, you're gonna be sweating a lot. <laughs> but in New York City, it's fashion and it wow. helps with the cold weather. So look at these guys. It's nice, right? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. You're gonna see my outfit every day when I'm making my vlogs. In New York City, so I'm just flexing this to you. Wow! There's a tag here. I don't know how to get this tag up. I just bought this yesterday, so I just bought this like ten dollars. Imagine that ten dollars. So yeah, when I first uh, saw this one, I immediately bought this. I don't even check. If there's any problem with this one, good thing it doesn't have any defects or whatever. So, yeah, I'm gonna wear this, guys. I really like this outfit, to be honest with wow! you. So, yeah. So, I think that would be all, guys, for my preparation. So, basically, just my clothes, you know. I'll be there for like 3, uh, tw 11, 12. 13, three nights and four days in New York City. Wow! So it's not that, you know, long week, but yeah, I think I think these are just enough for me to 
wear for the four days and three nights. So yeah, actually I'm so excited now to be honest with you. I just can't wait to explore New York City because it's actually my dream to go to New York City. Even when I was like in high school, I've been watching movies, American movies. Most of them are being done in New York City. And I couldn't imagine myself to actually step foot on New York City and to actually experience it. So this kind of be a big thing for me. It's kind of be a big milestone for me to, you know, to experience that. And yeah, just, you know, I just couldn't actually believe that these are all happening in my life. Wow. But you know, the Lord is so great. The Lord is so kind. The Lord is so amazing. He would always do things in the least that you would expect. And you know, as long as you believe in Him, as long as you do good deeds, good things to other people, I think He knows what you deserve. So yeah, I'm just so excited. I don't want to be emotional because I am not yet there in New York City, you know. There might be, things might happen, but I'm pretty sure I'll be there. You know, I'm very positive. I'm gonna pray for that. And I'm just so excited, guys, to be honest with you. And I just can't wait to go there. And I would just probably get some running shoes because uh, my friend told me that it's gonna be more of a lot of, it's gonna be a lot of walks in New York City. So I would probably do that. And yeah, so, so guys, I think that would be all for now. So, that's my preparation. So if you wanted to suggest something for me to bring, just comment down below. I would really appreciate that. So I think that would be all guys and see you on my next vlog. This has been Chris, your crazy nurse RN. Bye bye.